The following is game film for George Pearson, who is both a punter and a kicker with an exceptionally strong leg. George is currently a professional kicker with the Reno Barons, a tough, exciting professional indoor arena football team based in Reno, Nevada. 58 yards, straight through the uprights. Well, they've made some, uh, some, some good uh, personnel changes on uh, all three phases the coaching staff has, and it's certainly have made a difference. Uh, last week, and playing against the, what's considered the best team in the league, the Stockton Wolves, they have shown that uh, you know they're, they're going to have to come through the Reno Barons to win this league. Pearson had just kicked the extra point. We'll try for the two. He got it! Uno, I'm sorry. What a kick after pooching it all night long. The defense pulled in. On a bullies replay from the side, you can see that ball. There's the end zone shot back with us. What a great shot. And what a way to keep this momentum going. Right now, it's all Barons. There's Mr. Pearson. Extra points. On his shirt sleeve all night long. He's high energy. Pearson's extra point is again good. And Pearson has shown a wonderful leg tonight. We rush back, and Pearson will kick the extra point, and he is true. Specialty indoor arena kicks, including high bounces, such as in an onside kick. Barons will kick off. The high bounder will be taken back at the goal line. And pretty good coverage by the Barons. Not much running room at all. We watch get our replay here, Dan, and a good kick uh, by the Barons. They gave the, field, uh, the kickoff coverage time to get down, and uh, whenever you're juking that much as a kickoff returner, you're not going to go far. And what is called the rocket kick. He will kick off. They've done a great job kicking off. I, li I like the strategy of trying to use the wall as extra defender and obviously with the bouncing ball because uh, you never know how that ball is going to bounce, especially on this turf. Oh, that ball is going to be recovered as it, it ricochets off the Wolves and recovered by the Barons. You talk about taking a line drive shot. The Barons recover the, the live ball. Watch this ball ricochet back. Yeah, great kick. And uh, hit him right between the numbers, and the ball comes back. And with the indoor rules, indoor football rules, the ball possession goes back to the Barons. Tackled way short of the first down, and the Wildcats are punting backed up at their own 11. They needed 14. Banks got four. So the catch to punt it here. Pearson with his second punt. Good snap. Kick is away. High kick. Drives Patterson back all the way to his 37 yard line. He's going to run to the right. He is at the 40. Sidesteps a Wildcat, and then he is sandwiched at the 42 yard line in Jayhawk territory. 47 seconds to go in the opening period. That is a 52-yard punt and just a five-yard return 
for Damon Patterson. He got into that one nicely and created a spiral. Good coverage downfield, but the longest punt of the year for George Pearson, his second punt of 50 yards or longer. Fourth and 11 now. See about the punt coming here, and this is George Pearson's first punt of the night. And it is a high kick. It's going to bounce at about the 11 and angle to the near side. K-State will let it roll. It's inside the five, and it's going to be down at about the one or two yard line. George Pearson getting it done for Kansas State. They'll mark it at the one. You can't do it much better than that. A timeout with 11.20 to go. 41-17 Cats. This is the K-State Sports Network from Learfield Sports. First down, Missouri State at their own one after that punt by George Pearson of 41 yards that bounced at the 11 and rolled to the one. 